All right, guys, so I wanted to do a little quick little video on cold protection and why I don't cold protect my trees anymore. I used to in the beginning, but I saw that there wasn't a real advantage to cold protecting the trees. Um, it's best to let them harden up and get strong on their own. And if they're so weak that they just can't make it, well, then that's not a plant that you really want to take care of and baby, baby anyway. You want really, really strong plants. <clears throat> so I did a little, a little test for you guys just to show you the example and you'll see this happen in your own yard so this is a star fruit that i frost protected okay i put the frost protection up around it and i secured it all the way down to the ground and you see the way that it looks today it's kind of sad it's kind of droopy it's not happy uh the leaves are folded down a lot of them are are cold burnt so see this this is from the cold and just generally just not happy droopy sad looking and so this is what happens when you frost protect them and especially if you don't frost protect them correctly where you keep the frost cloth off of the tree all the way around the tree and then it has to go all the way down to the ground and then remember frost protection just keeps the frost off it's not a heat blanket it's not going to warm the tree up so you want to have a heat lamp. So if you're going to do it, do it right. Don't half-ass it because if you're going to half-ass it, just don't do it because it's not going to work out good and the trees aren't going to look good. So either build the structure with the PVC and the frost cloth or the plastic and then put the light in it or just let them go because they'll harden up and they'll they'll get strong for you. So. So you see it the way this one looks. So this is a, a typical frost protected plant. Okay, now let's go look at the star fruit that was not protected. And this one was just out on his own. And look how gorgeous this tree looks. And he's even up, way up there poking up into the cold. He's got some brand new growth up there that's just fine and you can see it out here too on these guys so there's his new little leaves tiny just fine here's another one look how tiny those are and those didn't get fried at all you would have seen the frost damage on these look 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 at that, nothing. Look at that, look how small that is. Now you know that the cold would have just bleh, would have just drooped that over and just fried that new growth, but it didn't. So he's still growing. And in fact, it sparks, usually sparks some more blooms. Here we go. The kind of sparks another flowering. And this one is the one that's already completely completely loaded up full of fruit anyway. And so these fruit in the winter time, and so you want them to be nice and hardy so that they'll be able to bear that fruit through the winter time and not die on off. So here's a good example. This is a star fruit in the ground versus the one that was frost protected. You know what? Let's just go look at all the other ones and see how they look. So this one is uh, this one's pretty exposed. It is near the house, but it's got this driveway here, so it gets pretty cold, cold through here. And of course, it's got cement here and really nothing over here on this other side. So, so here's this guy looking just amazing. See, all this is poking out in the exposed, in the exposed air, and it looks, looks really great. So let's go find the other ones real quick all right so this one is in the back and this one is fully exposed now to the elements because I've got this open now and this one is a lot smaller and he looks pretty good too so he's doing the same thing he's got all this new growth just tiny tiny little growth look at those and they're not damaged at all by the by the cold 
So he looks pretty stunning. He's got all these new little leaves. And then there's one here behind me. Let's see how he looks. This one's small too. See how he's small. He looks pretty good. I don't think this one has any new growth, but let's go look at two more here. All right, so we're gonna look at three more. I forgot I had three out here in the front. So this is another one, and this one is a dwarf. So this one's not that tall, it's about the, my height. And he looks pretty good too. He's got a bunch of fruit. Also, it's carrying a pretty good size load for such a small tree. Little guy, and he's getting some new growth too. Right there. And flowers too. Right here. So he is going to bloom again too. That cold makes him rebloom for some reason. But yeah, he's got some nice fruit on him, and he's not that big. There's some more blooms there coming on. Some new, new growth. All right, so let's find the other two are right over here. So this one's out on the neighbor's side where there's no protection on that side. So I've got this one here and he is right here. So he's about, I don't know, maybe eight foot. And he is also really, really full of fruit. Oh yeah. We're getting some nice ones. And he also has got some new flowers and fruit and sparked him into reflowering also. So he's got some new flowers. And then the other one over here. Same thing, this one looks pretty good too. This one's getting pretty tall. He goes up in there. And he also is pretty full of fruit, I would say. I would say that's a pretty good haul. Oh man, yeah. You can see him way better with the camera, that's funny. Then you can by your eyeballs because they are green. And they are hard to see, but yeah, there's a few hundred. Oh man, look at that little cluster. But <laughs> Wowzer. Wowzer, wowzer, wowzer. So yeah, he's got some nice, nice fruit set. Oh man. Oh boy. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, so yeah, the star fruits, they like a little cold. Now if they're real babies, little teeny tiny guys, um, maybe you want to protect them, but protect them correctly. Don't don't half-ass them, like I said, or it's not going to turn out well for you. But I don't protect any of these guys because they they like that cool weather. They need a break, a little bit of a break. So, all right, guys, that's uh, frost protection slash starfruit trees. Thanks for watching.